Hey, hey, welcome back to the show. Now, as you know, Kiwis are well known for doing amazing things in any kind of area on a worldwide scale. That includes food science. Now, Amy and Julie Zhang used to live in Christchurch, now they live in London. And recently, they entered celebrity chef Jamie Oliver's worldwide search for food tube star. They came second. Cool, eh? Now, they vlog and they go under the name The Dumpling Sisters. So before we meet them via Skype, let's have a look at their vlogs. Okay, so Julie's made that beautiful marinade and I want to make sure we get as much of it as possible on this chicken. So, take some parchment paper and grab a bashing implement and lay your chicken on. And Julie, you did honours. This one's for you, Jamie. Okay, so ready for the unveiling. Look at that. Pop them in to your beautiful marinade. Give it a good massage. Squelch. Cover with some glad wrap and set it aside. Please welcome the Dumpling Sisters, Amy and Julie, all the way from London. Hi girls, how are you? Hi! <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations! Thank you. So this is a massive deal, food tube competition. It was worldwide, you guys got second. Tell us about the competition. Go ahead. Okay, um, so basically Jamie Oliver, um, who we've watched since we were little really, put on this really awesome competition on YouTube to um, look for a FooTube star because his YouTube channel is called FooTube mm -hmm. um, and there are about 250 entries around the world and for some miraculous reason we got to the final five, yeah. um, which was really exciting. So the last two weeks have been a, um, a bit intense. Um, mm. of the voting and everything, and it's been really, really good fun because we've heard from people all over the world, really, about um, yeah. what, why they like watching us or just like mm. making funny comments or the silly things we do because we do a lot of silly things. Yeah, but it's yeah. been an amazing experience, yeah. and a huge part of that was having New Zealand backing us. Very um, much so. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been wicked, really wicked. Oh, we're just so proud of you. What made you enter? Well, basically, food's been in our family for a long time. So our um, family has a food business back home in Christchurch. So we've been cooking since we were kids, really. Mm -hmm. um, and being the best friends that we are, we um, yeah. we started this YouTube channel called The Dumpling Sisters. And when this competition came along, we just thought it was perfect because A, we love Jamie Oliver, yeah. and B, it had to have rice in it, and we happen to love rice. Yeah. So yeah. it worked out really well. Yeah. And we just love eating. So it doesn't oh, yeah. sense that we just <laughs> basically spilled ourselves cooking and eating. Yeah. What the, this is a perfect combination. So now, Jamie Oliver, he is a big deal around the world, and obviously you look up to him. Do you get to meet him, or have you met him? Um, no, we haven't met, met him. him. <laughs> no, I've seen the side of his face yeah, for about half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, don't, I can't. I can't lay claim to having met him. No, I we were too scared to meet him because like, yeah. um, he had an event in London on the other side of town, and we went along to it. It was kind of like a street party to celebrate yeah. our Food Revolution Day, which he has every year. And like when we got there, we were really lucky because he must have just come off stage or something. Mm -hmm. And there were like a throng of like people around him getting photographs and everything. And we were a bit too scared to go up and Yeah, just to <laughs> be a chicken. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, it might happen one day. He's the type of person that will just turn up at your door anyway. Now, girls, you are not chefs by trade, are you? No, no, no not at all. No. No. I'd love to go to a cooking, a like, proper cooking course one day. Oh, yeah, really definitely. Cool. Yeah. That'd be yeah. wicked. No, but uh, we're actually just finished being students, really. Yeah, so yeah. that's what we've been doing like our whole lives, as well as cooking, Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, like Amy went to Cambridge and did her PhD, mm -hmm. um, and I came over here to Oxford to do my master's. Yeah. Um, but food's such a big passion of ours that, you yeah. know. Yeah. It doesn't matter what we do, I think. We're always, okay, food is a very central part of our lives. Like, we wake yeah. up thinking about it, don't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's a good as place, we all so. do. <laughs> so what is the dream for the Dumpling Sisters now? <laughs> oh, hard to say. I mean, like, this has just, um, this competition has put things into perspective for us. Yeah. And, um, made us really realise that it's such a cool way to connect with people. Um, it's such a cool project. Yeah, yeah. so um, it's really fun. we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep doing videos, putting them up on YouTube, <laughs> um, and seeing where it takes us, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That is wicked. Okay, now Amy and Julie are going to stick around, and they're going to show us some of their, your, their favourite cooking utensils, so don't go far. Are you a mad 1D fan? Fancy your own Niall, Louie, Harry, Zane and Liam. 
Well, we can't give you the real life versions, but we do have a full set of One Direction boy band singing dolls up for grabs. So, if you want to win yourself a full set of these collectibles, head online to tvnz.co.nz forward slash Erin Simpson and tell us one cool fact about each boy and you could be in to win. To a crazy. Welcome back. Today via Skype, we have the runners up of Jamie Oliver's Worldwide Food Tube Stars competition, Amy and Julie Zhang, originally from Christchurch, now in London. And um, girls, you're about to show us some of your cool cooking utensils. Yeah, that's right. So um, start. I'll start. So basically, I like anything that is novelty large or novelty small. So just yeah. like bigger or small than it's meant to be. So yeah. the first thing I've got to show you guys is these giant chopsticks, which are um, they're not hugely useful, <laughs> except that they're quite good for things like deep frying. Yeah, so you don't um, splatter yourself. So you don't splatter yourself. Yeah. And then I've got this tiny grater, which we used in our Jamie Oliver video, yeah. which is really good for things like um, nutmeg or um, ginger, ginger which is what we use yeah. for. Perfect. And then I've got this giant peg, which I is love these giant peg. Like, <laughs> I haven't figured out what to do with them yet, but they're awesome because they're, they're much bigger than they're supposed to be. So yeah. that's anything yeah. normal. Anything normal. Anything just normal see when we go shopping. He's like, gaga, yeah. everything. I know. Like yeah. yeah. Where, yeah. Do you, where do you get things like that from? I've never seen them to buy. Just all over the place, man. Yeah. So like the giant chopsticks at um, good Chinese food supermarkets. Yeah. Um, the big peg at a shop called Tiger. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they have an equivalent in New Zealand. Um, and the tiny grater are also at the shop. But yeah. it's kind of homeware. It's so cheap as well. We like yeah. a bargain. We like a yeah. good bargain. They're yeah. oh. all good bargains. <laughs> we all love bargains. Um, Amy, have you got anything to show us? I do. So um, what I have here is um, is a steamer. Hold on to it for her. Like she truly bought these and she brought them over to my place. But then I kind of stole them because I realised that they're really good for like storing things like makeup. Oh! Like, like, like all these like, kind of levels. So you've got the lid and then I've got another like layer there. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is perfect! <laughs> so I've got like necklaces on the bottom. So you can oh imagine if you stacked up 10 of them, you could store loads of stuff in there. Loads of stuff. And then you can just hide it all away like that. See, it's all gone. It looks very, kind of neat. Very compact. So I'll, I was quite proud of that. Yeah, I'm really. You should be. <laughs> that is outstanding. We have all just been inspired by that, Amy. Thank you so much. I think we're all going to go get one of those. Because <laughs> that's fantastic. Okay, so um, I've got some quick fire questions for you to do with food. Uh, first of all, do you prefer sweet or savoury? Savoury. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I'm a sweet girl. It used to be the other way around. Yeah. When was little, she would eat anything sweet. I didn't really like it, so I'd much rather have like a sausage roll over like a custard like <laughs> slice or something. But now I love the sweet stuff. I don't know what's happening. I mean, quick fire. Quick oh, fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> a, yeah, well, unfortunately, <laughs> that's the only time we have. So one question on the quick fire round. Girls, thank you so much for joining us today. To see more of these girls, head to their website, which is thedumplingsisters.com. Congratulations on your comp, and once again, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, from one duo YouTube sensation to another, here is a mashup of Fall Out Boy and Alicia Keys' song, sung by Christina Grimley and Mike Thompson, that they posted up recently.